Hi, it's been a long while, it's been four months. I said that I was going to do a video every week, but I didn't. But we'll just ignore it. And um, if you know me at all in real life, you'll know that I've been to New York because I've posted about it on every social media and like told everyone ever that I was going. So I went and I spent um, all my money ever and I have some things to show for it so I thought I'd do an NY haul video and so I've got makeup and clothes and shoes have I got shoes to show the best shoes that have touched the earth so I think I'll start with makeup and other things like other things that aren't makeup shoes and clothes but I'll start with makeup, so I've got it all in a little box. I went to Sephora and it's amazing. I'll tell you that for free. It has got everything that you want and need. First thing I got was this Anastasia Modern Renaissance. Now I know that everyone's had this for about three years, but I've always wanted it. And I thought, when in Rome, when in New York, get yourself it. So I'm going to show you it for the purpose of the video but I don't, I don't, I don't pretend for one minute. I'm, I'm not, oh, I can't talk. I can't, I'm not going to pretend for a minute that I can actually speak English. I'm not going to pretend for a minute that everyone hasn't already seen this palette. Right, look at this. So I'd actually never seen it in person before and I've seen it and I was like, yes bitch. I need these colours in my life because I've been using me Kylie Jenner burgundy palette so much all the time for like two months so I think that'll that will add a little something to my life these oranges and pinks so yeah bit of a basic option but one for the books <laughs> and then I got this actually this Sephora eyebrow pencil in midnight brown because I got it when I went to Florida and I really liked it and I wanted to repurchase it as soon as I used it up but unfortunately I live about a thousand miles away from any Sephora so I thought I'd just pick one up when I was in America. This is actually the waterproof one. I don't know if the last one I bought was waterproof but it's just a standard brow pencil and it's got this little like it's not like a normal spoolie. It's like a like a like it's like hard plastic. But we'll deal with it. It's good. Works for me. I'm sure there's other stuff like this that you can get in this country, but I just like this one to be honest. So I got that. I actually went and purchased a real beauty blender because the first time I went, Katie, my friend, got a real one, and she said it change their life and everyone says that the real ones are better than the fake ones and I know that the real technique ones are better than like a H&M one but I thought I'd thought I'd push the boat out and get this and I got the black one because it said that makeup artist used it and I was like okay I was like I'll take it so then the next thing I got was this IT Cosmetics CC cream I actually um, bought this because I was on Instagram and I seen Megan Ellaby put a story on of like saying that she bought this and I, I'd heard of it a little bit and then when I was in the shop I was like you know what I'm gonna go for it so I got it in light and I was really torn between the light and the fair one because I thought the light one actually looked quite dark but um I put it on my hand and it seemed like it was the right color so we'll see and it has a really nice message in there it says you are beautiful, you are it, in the little lid, and I just like that shit. I just think that's cute and nice, to be honest. So, yeah. The next thing is this Laura Mercier powder, again, that everyone has. It's just like the translucent E powder. But um, my friend Katie, who I went with, my BFF, um, has this and like swears by it and has been trying to get me to get to buy it for like a year and I just have been putting it off because it is pricey for what it is and I use like Maybelline Fit Me powder so 
um, it's like a big jump in price but again I thought when in New York buy it so I got that and I'm just frosting. The next thing is this Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner so I actually have wanted this for a long ass time and again I just thought when in New York buy it. I, that has actually been the case with a lot of things that it's just stuff that I've wanted for ages and I just went out and got them. So yeah, just this. I actually took a few things out to try it and this was one of them because um, just went out. And um, it's really good. I really like it on my eyes. My, my little flicks. So yeah, would recommend that. So I was just wandering around Sephora and I came across the Fenty Beauty stand and I was like, yes. I want something from there and um, I looked and I got this it was like in highlighter duos but it looks like an eyeshadow to me and it's like this pink pinky there and I just think that they're really nice colours and um, I'm a, I, that was another thing that I'm wearing right now um, so yeah so it says that they're high, highlighters but I I've been wearing it as an eyeshadow. I, I wore this one a little bit on my cheeks, but I don't really think you can see it because mm. I put another highlighter on top. But I used this sparkly one in my inner corner and I thought it was looked nice like that. And I also and I also bought it because it's called Ginger Binge. <laughs> That's why. And because I like it. It's good. But I like you as well. I do. So then I forced Katie to take me, well, together to the Glossier showroom. I love this place so much. I was in my absolute element in the Glossier showroom. Went in and I seen the Glossier bags and I was like, get me the hell up there. So, what I bought from Glossier at PS, I love the box. The box is so cool. It's a bit crushed from the um, flight. And it just says glossy. And I got the birthdaybalm.com. And to be honest, I was drawn to the packaging of it because it's bloody sparkly, like my life. And um, it just, I love a sweet, sweet smell. And it just smells like, like birthday cake, like, Birthday cake Oreos, if you've ever had them. And then, the second thing I got from Glossier is this cloud paint, because everyone gans on about these cloud paints. Um, I got it in Dusk, which is like a mauve -y. It's more mauve -y. Yeah, It looks peachy, but I thought it was mauve -y. But yeah, it's just... It's not what I expected, actually. It's a lot thinner formula. But yeah, it's just a little... You can't really see it, to be honest. And then you just put that on your little cheek and it just is like a little blush but it's like nothing I've ever seen before. So if you if you're in or around New York, Soho, get yourself to the Glossier showroom because it's bloody brilliantly amazing. If you like just nice things to be honest. Um and now apparently you can order them online, so the girl will be doing that. So now I'm going to do clothes. If my camera's moved, it's because it just stops recording sometimes. But it's no bother. So I went into Brandy Melville on a whim. And this is a shop with only one size. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I, I tried a few stuff out and they were, they were like, okay like they everything fit on my body but um it was all fit weird and didn't really fit over my boobs so if you're a girl with boobs I wouldn't come in there but I did buy a hat this New York hat because I thought I bought nothing and I was torn between this or I heart New York hoodie and I thought I'll just get the hat there was a lot of shops that um, are the same as what we have here, like Zara and Topshop and stuff. We went into Topshop and a lot of it was similar to what 
we have at home so I was like it's all right I'll just not buy it I did buy stuff in Zara because I found that Zara was a bit different nice I enjoyed it so the stuff I got from Zara I'll just show you so I got this bodysuit which is nice so yeah long sleeves I thought it was nice just either going out or like just during the day depending on what you wear it with to be honest because I wore with jeans before mm. and I looked all right look more than that look more than that. you heard them also from Zara got this leopard print top because I've been wanting something leopard print for ages and quite a few times on ASOS I've had like a leopard print thing in my basket and I've like I've not um bought it and so I got this leopard printy top, which I thought was quite nice and cool, just with jeans or with like a skirt, just whatever. I thought it was nice. Needed a bit of print in my life because I tend to buy block colour things. So, yes. So, in every Levi's in New York, I don't know whether it was all over America or just in New York, but it had 30% off jeans. And I was like, hold the phone because I've been wanting some Levi's for time. So what I did was I bought some. They're actually called Wedgie Fit. And they're really high-waisted. But I'd, I enjoy high-waisted. And they're just, they're just like quite straight-legged. That shows a bit of ankle, which I like. Because I always like to have my ankle out. And then, um, yeah, they've just got these little rips, which I didn't actually notice until I got home. I don't know why just didn't but we'll, we'll deal with it we'll live with it it was late on when I bought them to be honest but yeah they were 30% off as well which I thought was good um so that's them we flew from Manchester to New York and um so we had a, like a night in Manchester because we stayed in the Premier Inn but the night before we went into Manchester and I discovered and other stories, <laughs> and another story about it is, <laughs> I really, really like it. So I got this stripe, there was loads of stripey, and I love a stripe, so um, I was drawn to this, um, with the green and the pink, and I tried it on, and I tried it on with another one, but I knew in my heart of hearts that this is the one I wanted. I really enjoyed it, I actually wore this on the first day in New York and spilled pizza grease down it but I cleaned it really well with shampoo <laughs> so um, I think it's it all came off but it was like somewhere around here but that's just life silly I got this t-shirt that says the one that got away like mega Kate Ferry vibes it'd be like summer after high school when we first met me this work. so yeah I tried on a few things um, but this is the one that called to me and I'm I'm definitely looking at <coughs> spring wear and I feel like this is this is something that I'll be wearing in the spring summer 2018 so <laughs> keep your eyes peeled for that so first of all I've worn them a little bit I got these checkerboard vans because I wanted them for ages and I went into journeys um, which is like a shoe shop I feel like these are going to be my new go-to shoes. <laughs> quite, it's a big, it's a quite a clean. statement to me. <laughs> but I feel like maybe. So, yeah, I like them a lot. So, little story, little background info. I seen these shoes years back, and I was like, I love those Converse with the hearts on. Oh, why can't I get those Converse with the hearts on? I didn't know what they were. I was like, oh my god, I love them. I was on Depop. I was like, and then I forgot about them. And then a couple of months ago, I've seen people with them on, and I was like, oh my god, I still really want them. So, they're these. They're these. Condegas on top. I'm so happy about them. They. I can't happy dog. So excited. They are my favourite things that I've purchased. 
You know when you want something for so long and then you have it and then you own it and you're like so happy about it. I will, I'm going to insert photos of me just pointing at my shoes right now. Like this. So I went, I tried them, I definitely decided on the white ones because initially I wanted the black ones and then I wanted the polka dot ones and then I went for the white ones because I feel like they're, they're called to me in person. And so, um, yes, so I got them and I'm very happy with them and I was planning on not wearing anything that I bought until I got home but I could not stop myself so there's lots of photos of me like I say pointing at these shoes on the Brooklyn Bridge <laughs> deal with it things that aren't makeup or clothes or shoes which there's a few there's only a few of so if anyone knows me and has spoke to me for more than two minutes in the past year you'll know that I love Hamilton the musical. So for Christmas, me and Kate got tickets to see Hamilton. And it was amazing. It was so good. So I got this Hamilton cup for $7. Um, and it did come with a Diet Coke in, but obviously I drank that when I was... So yeah, this cup and then obviously the playbill, which I will treasure for the rest of my life. Unfortunately it wasn't the original cast but the cast that we've seen were really really good especially the Aaron Burr who was um, Andrew Chappelle who I actually read is a stand-in for Aaron Burr, Lafayette, Mulligan, Lawrence and King George. You what? He was bloody amazing. I cried at Wait For It and I didn't even think I liked Wait For It that much but I I, it really got to me because of the way that he did it. it was it was powerful let me tell you so um yes Hamilton was was bloody weird so then I went to Bath and Body Works I don't say it wasn't in succession I actually went to Bath and Body Works before I went to see Hamilton and um I got some hand sanitizers this one so is the time. best one Honolulu said, oh, Katie went in and Katie was buying stuff and I um, actually bought three of these. I gave one to my sister. Lucky you, Isabel. I actually got this when I went to Canada in 2014 and um, savoured every last drop of it. So now I have more and it just smells like the summer and coconut and like sun cream and just like reminds me of happiness. So yeah, I also got this one called A Thousand Wishes because it had sparkles in and this one called French Lavender because I like the smell of lavender. So, yes. And finally, finally, a bit of a weird thing is this And Other Stories hand soap because I don't like the hand soap that I have in my bathroom <laughs> at the minute. And um, it was called 7th Avenue and I just bought it because... Um, it had a New York related name. <laughs> I didn't really smell it. I did smell it. I liked the smell. So, I... oh, did you hear that? Well, look nice. Okay. Mm, so, it, I'll tell you what it smells like. Layers of dark tonka rises over sweet suede districts. I don't know whether that's describing the scent or what, but it's nice. It's very nice. So, yes. That was everything that I bought in New York. I, d I would definitely go back to NY. Highlights, just everything seen hammy. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I will try and upload videos more frequently. Um, maybe not gonna say every week, <laughs> but every so often. Um, if you were sitting waiting, sitting, eagerly waiting at your laptop or phone for me to put something up, which I doubt, but maybe so. I was. He was. So, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. I will be back. I'll be back. Get it. Okay. <laughs>